Okay, welcome back to learning cascading style sheets or learning CSS. Now, in the last screencast, we saw how we can include CSS within our existing HTML page. There are three ways of doing that. The first one was putting it in line with the tags. The disadvantage of using that was it applies to only that tag. The other one was embedded or internal, where we put the CSS within the head tag using the style tags. Now, the advantage was it will apply to all the elements within a page. The disadvantage, it cannot be, re it cannot be reused for other pages. So, the third one was external, where we put a link to our external CSS file, like this over here in the head tag, and then we define our CSS, like this over here. Now, a CSS, as mentioned earlier, is consists of rules. Each rule consists of properties and values there can be multiple properties and values and each rule has a selector which decides where to apply these styles to now in this current class we're going to continue with that and see the different types of selectors we have the first selector that we saw over here h1 p and others are called element selectors or type selectors okay now, element selectors or type selectors means they can be applied to any element within an HTML page. So, for example, if I want to apply a style to, let's say, an ordered list, an ordered list, what I would do is I'll go there and then I'll put OL. This is the selector. And then, like, let's suppose I'll say the color as green. Okay. Now when I go back, I'll see that the color of my unordered list have changed to green. So these are these are referred to as type selectors or element selectors because the, the selector over here is the element that we use in CSS. It can apply to any element type. The second one, before we go for the second and the third one, let's see there are two different two new attributes defined by HTML that can be used for any element these two attributes are ID and class now let's assign some values first now over here I assign an ID of first to this tag and a class of heading to this tag ID means ID is unique the first thing is ID the value of ID is unique it cannot be reused for any other tags I can define an ID for another element but it cannot be the same so ID is unique on the other hand a class can be shared by other tags for example I, I define a class heading over here I can use the same class to someone else I can apply the same style to someone else okay now we can use these IDs and classes as selectors in CSS now if you see that that when I apply the style h1 color red and font size 50 pixel it applies to all h1s now suppose I want to want to apply it to this one not to all of them not to all of them so what I do is I'll not put it as h1 rather than that I'll use the ID which is unique for my element which is first over here from my CSS file so I'll put first I cannot just use first ID selectors should always begin with a hash in the beginning so if I'm using an ID selector I have to put a hash in the beginning Okay, let's go back and see our page. You can see that it will apply to only the first one because it has the ID of first. Now suppose that I want to share the property of font size, not the color, but the font size with all of them, with all H1 tags. Or let's say, let's say I want to just say increase the font size of my first and the last tag because all three are h1s but I just want to apply a style the first and the last selective or grouping them 
so I can I can do one thing as I told you s classes can be shared so if I have a class over here I can use the same class over here and then apply a style which will be shared by both of them I'll go back to my CSS and then say heading and then let's say 50 pixel as you can see that before starting a class selector I put a dot a period over here at the beginning okay now when I go back to our page you can see that the size of the first and the last has been changed because they are grouped together whereas color is only changed for the first one because that's my first selector so in this lecture we have seen that we can there are three types of selectors basic types of selectors they are not the only types of selectors we'll learn more in the future these are the three basic types of selectors over here as you can see the HTML provides you with two different attributes which is ID and classes which can be applied to any of the element ID is unique a class can be shared by elements as you can see over here this class heading is shared by two different elements how to put them as selectors when using a st when you styling a ID selector you use a hash in before the name of the ID when styling a class you use a period or a dot in front of the name of the selector when you styling any element you just do, just put the name of the element without putting anything before it so these are the three types of selectors we have element selectors or they are also known as type selectors we have ID selectors and then we have class selectors so these are the three basic types of selectors used in CSS.